Chapter 1. Laying Plans. The key concepts covered in this chapter are There are five factors that determine the outcome of a battle. Always look to advance your position. And all warfare is based on deception. Let's now explore each of these concepts in more detail. Key Concept 1. There are five factors that determine the outcome of a battle. Understanding the five factors is the first step to truly understanding the art of war. The five factors are the commander, heaven, earth, the moral law, method, and discipline. An important way to look at these points is to break them into three groups. First, the commander is you or the leader of your team. Second, heaven and earth make up the external factors. They are equal to both sides of the conflict. Each side can plan and accommodate for them, but they cannot be changed. Third, the moral law and method and discipline are the two internal factors. Unlike the external factors, each side can control what they mean and how they will be executed. So, let's look at each factor. First, the commander. The commander stands for leadership. In most cases, the commanders are you and your opponent. Sun Tzu said the commander should have the following traits. Wisdom, sincerity, benevolence, courage, and strictness. These characteristics can be found in great leaders from history. While not every great leader fought battles, they all had the qualities of a good commander. When looking at these qualities, you must foster them in yourself but also find where your opponent is deficient. Second, external factors. Heaven and Earth. These two factors are the reason that you must always observe and question the world around you. While the two factors are similar and work together, there is a big difference. Think of Heaven as the variables and Earth as the constants. Heaven could be fashion trends, the weather outside, or the current state of the economy. Whenever things are changing, you must be willing to change with them. Always look for patterns. Earth could be geography, roads, or laws. Make sure your plans work within the constraints you face. These two factors, together, form the full picture of your current situation. Third, internal factors. The moral law and method and discipline are within your control. The moral law is what makes you and your allies believe what you're doing is right. For Sun Tzu, it was the entire army believing that their cause was worth fighting for. For the individual, it's asking yourself for a gut check. Before entering conflict, you should ask yourself, do you believe that you're right? Do you have a purpose? Do people agree with you? Method and discipline is the last of the five factors. It's probably the most universal factor. Another title for it might be organization. For Sun Tzu, it meant who could supply troops the best and control expenses. For you, it may mean work ethic and time management. Sun Tzu commands that all five factors should be examined before going to war. This means do your homework. If you know these five factors and the strength of each side with regards to each, you can know who will win. Also, these five factors come up later in the book at different times, so remember them. Key Concept 2. Always look to advance your position. When entering a conflict, ask the question, who has the advantage? With you and your opponent trying to outmaneuver each other, the answer may change constantly. This point may seem redundant, but it is actually the central theme of the entire Art of War text. It is in Chapter 1 that the concept is first explained. To determine who has the advantage, Sun Tzu lists seven considerations that you must use as a comparison of you and your opponent. These considerations mirror the five factors very closely. They are, which of the two sovereigns is imbued with the moral law? Which of the two generals has the most ability? 
with whom lie the advantages derived from heaven and earth? On which side is discipline more rigorously enforced? Which army is stronger? On which side are the officers and men more highly trained? And in which army is there a greater constancy of both reward and punishment? To illustrate the idea of advantage, pretend that you have given yourself a score on the five factors. In this hypothetical exercise, you rate yourself from 1 to 10 on each factor. In this example, you give yourself a score of 38. This score is important, but it is only half of your position. In order to fully understand who has the advantage, you must also assess your opponent's score. If their score is higher than yours, you are in a poor position and you will lose. If their score is lower than yours, you are in a strong position and you will win. Sun Tzu says, do not enter the conflict until you are in a position to win. Always evaluate yourself and your opponent based on the seven considerations. These will act as a decision-making tool when it comes time to enter in conflict. You must constantly use the knowledge from all 13 chapters of the art of war to constantly advance your position relative to your opponent. Key Concept 3. All warfare is based on deception. This point makes a lot of sense considering that knowing yourself and fooling your opponent is required to win. You must constantly monitor your opponent to uncover their relative strength to the five factors. At the same time, you must also hide your position from your opponent. For Sun Tzu, this meant appearing far away when he was near, or appearing weak when he was strong. For you, it may mean appearing lazy when you're motivated or uninformed when you are an expert. A common military application for this principle would be camouflage. In the civilian world, deception is just as important. Every day in the world of business, companies work hard to do the following. Hide weaknesses, misdirect competitors, and manage expectations. This section of the Art of War text also provides a practical piece of advice. Attack where you are not expected. This is one of the many ways that deception can lead to advantages. In conclusion, the key concepts from Chapter 1 are There are five factors that determine the outcome of a battle. Always look to advance your position. And all warfare is based on deception. That concludes Chapter 1.